So next month, I'm gonna try to be more dynamic. I've always dreamed what these videos could look like, and I always have big ideas. But when it comes down to actually filming it, I tend to procrastinate, and then just get it done in the quickest amount of time possible. So this month, I'm breaking out of the office, and I'm focusing on style, trying to bring my dreams closer to reality. I need to find my voice and figure out what these videos are gonna be moving forward. My goal is simple, one video per month, because I know I can do that. That's what this goal is all about, it's to get into rhythm and build confidence. So that when I do get an idea for a video, I can execute it quickly and efficiently. Which brings us to March. Originally, my goal for March was to prototype some new products for my Etsy page. However, this year has been off to a bit of a slow start from my client work, which is still my day job. So I have to prioritize my billable hours first, which is shaping up to be the majority of this month. Alongside my videography and drone work, I occasionally get the opportunity to set up a long-term time-lapse camera. Like this shot that I did for Grouse Mountain, using the amazing Biolapse LT housing and controller unit. However, my Biolapse LT system is still being used at Grouse Mountain and is a bit of overkill since this camera will be inside. So today we are gonna build a new intervalometer from scratch. To do this, we are gonna use a Sony a7R III, a Rokinon 14 millimeter lens, manual focus. We've got a relay, an Arduino Uno, AC cable and some sensors for the Arduino to control the camera. Now that we got the essentials unpacked, we can get to work. The idea is that Arduino is going to tell the camera to turn on, use the infrared sensor to trigger the camera to take a picture, wait 40 seconds, and then turn everything off. I started by wiring up the real-time controller and the relay and began the fun task of figuring out how to utilize these in the Arduino IDE. ChatGPT helped me a lot, but I eventually started to make some progress. We got the real-time clock working. I can turn the Arduino on and off, and it still shows the current time. Very cool, never done that before. All right, next step. I've got my relay plugged into port three, so we're gonna try and figure out how to turn that on and off. Okay, great, so now we have the real-time clock working, checking the time and we have a relay turning on and off to control our camera, which will only work between our set parameter hours nine to five right now. Next step is we're gonna try and get this infrared sensor to control the camera. At this point, I'm pretty frustrated. This little remote can do it easily, but for some reason, I cannot get the infrared transmitter to get the camera to take a photo. My next approach is gonna be using this old broken dead intervalometer because it has the Sony multi-port connector here. And it seems like the three cables are ground H1 and H2, which is great. So at least we know what ground is and then we can figure out what H1 and H2 is. And then we can control those from our Arduino. So approach two, let's give this a try. I'm running really behind schedule, so I gotta get this moving. Soldering done, everything is wired up, albeit not greatly. Well, I took a picture when I plugged it in, so I guess that's a good sign. No burning, that's great. We're gonna press compile and see if it takes a picture. All right, here we go. It's supposed to take a picture every five, so there we go. Boom, every five seconds, here we go. Amazing. So the final step is just to connect everything. There we go, all wired up. It's time to compile our final Arduino sketch. And in this sketch, we'll power up the camera, we'll trigger the camera to take a picture, we'll wait 40 seconds for a long exposure, and then we'll turn the power off of the camera and wait for four minutes so that we're taking one picture every five minutes total. The code for this will be down in the comments below. All right, moment of truth. I really hope this works because I've spent a lot of time on it today. Power on. Camera on.
picture taken. All right. I was gonna 3D print a custom case for it, which I would prefer to do, but I'm completely running out of time. So I've got this old Pelican case I used for a random project that has a bunch of holes in it. So everything is gonna live in here. And now that we're done, we're off to Gastown to set the camera up. Uh, this one? Yeah. Uh, Hi, buddy. Hello. You are such a good dog, hey? Eh? I essentially just covered everything in tape. Lots of tape everywhere. Tape all the way to our outlet. And this is our view. Now we are good to go. We're gonna check and make sure that it runs in four minutes. Don't worry, I'll show you guys a two week update. So I hate it when other people leave me hanging, so I won't leave you guys hanging. For the next two days, I was very busy with work, but I couldn't sleep at night, wondering if the camera was working correctly. Thankfully, I was in Gastown two days later for work after the initial setup and was able to quickly check on the camera. That is very good news. Came to check on the camera for the first time and it's taking pictures. Whew. It's like a huge sigh of relief, finally, after that first check to make sure it's working. So, feels good. And now we'll just wait, make sure it takes a photo, although it's been reliably working, so I'm not concerned as much. And then we'll head out of here. With my mind at ease, I have two weeks left in the month to focus on my work billable hours and to keep up with my Etsy shop sales. The Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon has been a workhorse pumping out my products fairly reliably, although I have had some troubles with their carbon fiber petchy bunching up around the nozzle and causing failed prints. Once I started printing directly from the iBOS dry box, that seemed to solve almost all of my problems with the filament. When I wasn't working, I spent every moment possible beginning to design a new product that I'm very excited about. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because that is the subject of next month's video. We're back in Gastown and I'm sure you want to know if the camera's been working. So let's go check it out, make sure it's been doing its thing. So as I was hoping, camera has been shooting every single day, one photo per five minutes. So. That is great news, everything is working right. This place has actually changed so much already. There used to be a full wall here that they took out. They're doing construction throughout this entire building, which is part of why we're able to use it for the time lapse. And that's also why you may have wondered why I was covering everything in tape is because it's getting very dusty. So, so I don't really have to worry about that because everything's covered in tape. All right, time to put the memory card back in the camera. Everything's good to go. We're gonna close it up with the tape. All right, thanks so much for watching this month's video. I'm really excited about next month, so definitely subscribe so you can watch that one. It's gonna be good. I'm really excited. See you guys next month.